हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिराइव द लीज इन वेरियंस कंडीशन बाई यूजिंग द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ लीनियर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड ऑल्सो द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ अ ली ग्रुप नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल वेरीफाई द लीज इन वेरियंस कंडीशन नाउ वी आर गिवन एन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन and this uh, ordinary differential equation is invariant under this lie group now students if we want to find the corresponding infinitesimals now student the question is why are we are finding the infinitesimals now if you remember from the lie's invariance condition by the lie's invariance condition what did this equation says this says that y of x plus capital y of y माइनस एक्स ऑफ एक्स इंटू कैपिटल एफ माइनस एक्स ऑफ वाई एफ स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू एक्स एफ एक्स प्लस वाई एफ वाई दिस इज द लीज इन वेरियंस कंडीशन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू लुक एट दिस इक्वेशन देन डेफिनेटली आवर वाई इज आवर गिवन ओ डी ई ओके दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन बट द अदर थिंग्स आर कैपिटल एक्स एंड कैपिटल वाई एंड दीज आर आवर इन्फिनिटिजिमल्स सो वी कैन फाइंड आवर इन्फिनिटिजिमल्स फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर टू दैट इज आवर गिवन ली ग्रुप ना स्टूडेंट्स द प्रोसीजर फॉर फाइंडिंग इन्फिनिटिजिमल्स आर दिस वन एंड दीज आर दीज आर द कंडीशन दैट वी डिराइव फ्रॉम द इन्फिनिटिजिमल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट आई हैव डन इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स ना स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी टेक द partial derivative of x bar with respect to x uh, sorry with respect to epsilon then we get this value and in the similar way if we take the partial derivative of y bar with respect to epsilon then we will get minus e raised to power minus epsilon and if we substitute the condition epsilon is equal to 0 here then we will get the value of capital y is equal to minus y now students our task is to substitute equation number 2 equation number 3 and equation number 4 into equation number 5 now students as i have already told you that the value of capital f is our given first order od that is y square minus y by x minus 1 by x square so i will first substitute the values of f f square here this is the value of capital f uh, capital f so i will substitute it in equation number 5 first then we will get y of x plus capital y of y minus x of x means partial derivative of x with respect to x into capital f and the value of capital f is minus y square minus y by x minus 1 by x square minus x of y as it is and y square minus y by x minus 1 by x square whole square because here the value is the uh, square of capital f that is equal to x the partial derivative of f this is f with respect to x so students the partial derivative of y with respect to x is 0 and here we will get y by x square because here we will get minus y by x square and minus minus will become positive and in the similar way here we will get plus 2 by x cube now plus capital y and the partial derivative of f with respect to y that is equal to 2y minus 1 by x now students if we substitute the infinitesimals our infinitesimals are the value of capital x is equal to x and the value of capital y is equal to minus y now students here we will take the partial derivative of y with respect to x that is equal to 0 so we will get here 0 plus the partial derivative of y with respect to y is the negative one minus the partial derivative of x with respect to x that is equal to 1 into y square minus y by x minus 1 by x square as it is minus the partial derivative of x with respect to y is 0 so all the terms will become equal to 0 that is equal to x and x is equal to smaller x y by x square plus 2 by x cube and plus capital y is equal to minus y into 2y minus 1 by x okay now students here we will get minus minus plus and we will get minus 2 into y square minus y by x minus 1 by x square and if i multiply x inside then we will get y by x plus 2 by x square minus 2y square plus y by x okay now if we simplify it further then we will get minus 2y square minus minus plus Are two y by x plus two by x square, 
and in the similar way here we will get minus 2y square uh, and this will become 2 times y by x and um, th this will plus 2y 2 by x square and as you can see this is identically satisfied this equation is identically satisfied so students we will say that thus capital x of x y is equal to x and capital y of x y is equal to minus y are the solutions of lease invariance condition now students as you can see that in today's lecture we have just seen that if we are given an ordinary differential equation and we already know that this is uh, this equation is invariant under this Lie group and we have checked that how we can find uh, verify our Lie's invariance condition but student you can also this condition to verify the given infinitesimals like you can also find the infinitesimals or the given Lie group by using just this condition that is the Lie's invariance condition okay and uh, this is what we will uh, discuss in the coming lectures but this is all about this lecture thank you so much